course, a precious commodity on the desert, but the water level on Lake Mead is down, and without action, the entire valley could someday face some serious shortages. And that's what triggered the construction of a new pipe in 2005 to help reach our shrinking Colorado River water supply. And today, Action News had the chance to see it before it goes into use. It's an all too familiar scene, the white ring around Lake Mead. The water level has fallen 130 feet since 2000. The problem is Lake Mead is responsible for supplying 90% of the valley's drinking water. That's why the Southern Nevada Water Authority has been constructing a third intake to help pump water from Lake Mead. Action News was invited to get this unique perspective as crews put the finishing touches on this $817 million project. This giant machine helped to create a tunnel more than 15,000 feet long running under Lake Mead. The passage ends right below the new intake. This is the location where the water will flow in through the intake and then make its three mile journey down the tunnel to our pumping facilities. The Water Authority says the new intake will be put in service in late August or early September. When this intake is put into service, the contractor will simply flood this tunnel and then just remove that dome-shaped cap from the surface of the lake. And that's important because the Bureau of Reclamation says over the next decade, the water level could fall below 1,000 feet. So this new intake will allow the Water Authority to still reach our declining water supply. Just last month, the Water Authority approved construction for a new pumping station for the third intake pump. The $650 million project is expected to be completed in 2020. It will allow officials to still reach water even when users in Arizona, California and Mexico can't. A bomb scare shut down a busy shopping center in part of Sahara this morning near 